reading a micrometer. The first thing we need to do is to check that the measuring faces are clean. So we can do this by sliding a sheet of paper between the faces and then tightening the micrometer using the ratchet on the end. We use the ratchet so that we don't over tighten and risk damaging the micrometer. So we turn until we hear the click and then we simply pull the sheet of paper out and that should have cleaned the faces, the measuring faces of the micrometer. And now we can check the calibration by tightening again until we hear the click. And then we're checking to see if the zero marks match up with each other. And these ones do, so it's ready to use. If we look at the micrometer sleeve, we can see there are millimetre graduations on this lower scale, and they're numbered every five millimetres. And if we look above, there are half millimetre marks on this scale. So we'll read 0 to 0 0.5 to 1 to 1.5 to 2 to 2.5 and so on. If we look to the right, as we turn the thimble here, yeah, there are 50 graduations marked in a complete turn of the thimble. And these are one hundredths of a millimetre. So one complete turn will take us half a millimetre on the sleeve scale. So at the moment it's showing 21. If we turn one complete turn, we get to 21.5. And another complete turn takes us to 22 millimetres. So, as an example, to measure this object, we are going to tighten with using the ratchet until we hear the click. And then first of all, we read the lower scale on the sleeve. So this is reading 9 millimetres and then we check above to see if there's a half millimetre mark and there is a half millimetre mark showing so we have 9.5 millimetres from the sleeve and then we check around the thimble and we see we have another seven hundredths of a millimetre showing there so we need to add on that seven hundredths so then the total reading is 9.57 millimetres